There has always been competition among car manufacturers to make the fastest car in the world. In 1987, the automotive world was left in awe when the Ferrari F40 became the first production car to break the 200 miles per hour barrier. Since then we have seen some of the fastest cars come and go. When it was launched six years ago, prices started at a mere $1.87 million. The supercar was offered with a free companion piece, a Signet City car based on the Toyota, Cyan IQ, in a matching color, meant to reduce the owner's carbon footprint in urban driving and preserving the supercar for the right road, and the right time. As you might have guessed by the name, only 77 examples of the Aston Martin supercar were produced, and the entire lot sold out rather quickly. It's not something you'll likely find in your friend's car collection especially if the Aston's numbers keep dwindling. The current still living tally is something like 76. Born from aluminum and carbon fiber, the 177 was a stunning example of Aston Martin's design language. But its pretty shape wasn't its only selling point. 177s have a ferocious 7.3-liter V12 engine under the hood with 750 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. It sounds utterly amazing, and has recorded a top speed of 220 miles per hour. The 177 hasn't exactly led a sheltered life, despite this one being hoarded to boost its value. The Dubai police force put a 177 into limited service along with the Bentley Conti GT and a Benz SLS, with 1,800 kilometers, 1,118 miles, on the clock, this 177 is looking for a new caretaker. The price? 2,960,000 euros, which equals out to be about 3.35 million dollars with current exchange rates. The Pagani Huera is available in a single configuration, but customization options can be fine tailored to your personal preferences. As standard, you get tall and suspension, Pirelli tires, and a 6.0-liter V12 with two turbochargers. This produces 730 horsepower and 738 pounds to feet of torque. The power is directed exclusively to the rear wheels via a 7-speed single-clutch automatic transmission. While this makes the car explosive in a straight line, the Huera is built to handle track work too, with a suspension setup that lowers the car at speed for greater stability. You also get variable flaps on the body that increase downforce where it is needed most. These flaps also act as a very effective air brake when the car is required to stop, exacerbating the effect of the carbon ceramic brakes. Inside. Milled aluminum switchgear is balanced by exquisite leather upholstery and doodles of carbon fiber. Its price is at $1,400,000. The Zenvo ST1 is a high-performance sports car manufactured by Danish e-company Zenvo Automotive. It is the company's first model and is manufactured almost entirely by the hands of a small team of workers. With the exception of a CNC router. The Zenvo ST1 uses a honking 7 liter supercharged V8 with 1,104 horsepower, a touch more than the Bugatti Vrun, but not as much as the SSC Ultimate Aero. It's actually a Corvette engine that the Zenvo team has breathed fire into, still, any four figure horsepower output is more than most of us will ever encounter. It's got a six speed manual transmission which seems reassuringly normal, though you can get an F1 style automatic if you like. And like the car you probably drive, the Zenvo has traction control and ABS. Unlike your car, the Zenvo has three engine settings, wet, street, and track. Wet tones things down to a reasonable 750 horsepower. Street lets you have 1000 horsepower and track gives you enough horsepower to smoke anyone else who dares to be at a club session that day. If you can even believe it, the speed is electronically limited so you don't hurt yourself, to 233 miles per hour it cost 1.8 million dollars, power, pace and peerless quality, the legendary F1 is a technological masterpiece. The fastest production car of its time. The finest sports car of its generation. For many, the greatest supercar ever built. Considered by many as one of the greatest cars ever built. 
The McLaren F1 ruled the 90s with its unmatched performance figures at the time. It has a mind-blowing top speed of 241 miles per hour, which made it the fastest car in the world at the time, taking IT to the extreme the CCR was an evolution of the CCA test, produced between 2004 and 2006. The CCR was produced in 14 examples in total. Compared to the CCA test, the CCR featured an upgraded body design, a larger front splitter, a rear wing, larger brakes, new and large tires and wheels plus upgraded chassis and suspension. The CCR also had a more powerful engine with twin compressors, producing an astonishing 806 horsepower. All in all, the CCR had a more racing car-like stance and appearance compared to the more elegant CCA test. The CCR managed to take the Guinness record for the world's fastest production car at the Nardo test track in Italy, in February 2005. The CCR reached 388 km per hour, beating the 8-year-old record set by the inspirational McLaren F1. The CCR went on to set records at the Nürburgring and at various other tracks. The CCR still has performance that can match or beat many of the latest hypercars. It truly was a car before its time. Koenig's CCR was the first car to beat the top speed record of the mighty McLaren F1. The CCR hit a top speed of 242 miles per hour in 2005, making it the new fastest car in the world at that time. Its prize is at $550,000. The SSC Ultimate Aero is a mid engine sports car that was produced by SSC North America formerly known as Shelby Supercars, from 2004 until 2013. The SSC Ultimate Aero held the world production car speed record title, according to the Guinness World Records, from 2007, when it was officially timed at 410 km per hour, until the introduction of the Bugatti Vrant Super Sport in 2010. In April 2013, the Guinness World Records temporarily disqualified the Vrond's record time for a period of five days due to concerns about electronic speed limit in changing the function of the car, but after investigation reinstated the Vron as the record holder. It had a brief stint at the top between the years 2007 to 2010 making its way into the Guinness Book of World Records. The SSC Ultimate Aero can generate massive and maximum speed of 256.14 miles per hour. It can produce a great power of 1,183 bhp and an enormous torque of 1,483 newton meters. SSC North America also claims a drag coefficient of 0.357, very less as compared to other supercars. The supercar accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.78 seconds. The sport car costs $1.3 million. After over a year of waiting, German tuner for 9 francs has finally released new details and updated photos of their impressive 9 francs GT9 R. The 1,120 horsepower car will be limited to 20 units, each available worldwide using a 4.0 liter six cylinder boxer engine. The car is capable of a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 2.9 seconds. 300 km per hour is reached in 15.8 seconds, en route to a 414 km per hour, 257.2 mph, top speed. If accurate, the 9 francs GT9 R would become the fastest production car built, beating out the 412. 28 km per hour, 256.2 mph, posted by the SSC Ultimate Aero TT, despite a pending second world record run by Keating TKR, which has already hit 418.6 km slash h, 260.1 mph, those who do not need quite that much power can take a 987 HP model built for the track, and just a hair slower than a fully tuned car. Still, there is a 750 HP version on offer that clears 300 km per hour, 186.4 mph, in 20 seconds. The engine is mated to either a 6-speed manual or sequential gearbox. The 5-speed Tiptronic is an option for those purchasing the 750 HP variant of May $1.1 million or thereabouts is its price. The Bugatti Veyron has one petrol engine on offer. The petrol engine is 7,993 cc. 
it is available with the automatic transmission. Depending upon the variant and fuel type the Veyron has a mileage of 6.8 kmpl. The Veyron is a two-seater convertible and has length of 4,462 mm, width of 1,998 mm and a wheelbase of 2,710 mm. This interactive feature allows you to experience the three handling modes of the Bugatti Veyron, based on the Grand Sport 5S. With the top speed of 410 km per hour, it is the fastest production roadster ever. In order to guarantee optimum handling at all times with this level of power, the supercar needs a harmonious balance between lift and downforce at all speeds. This interactive feature allows you to experience the three handling modes of the Bugatti run, based on the Grand Sport 5S. With the top speed of 410 km per hour, it is the fastest production roadster ever. In order to guarantee optimum handling at all times with this level of power, the supercar needs a harmonious balance between lift and downforce at all speeds. It cost $1.9 million. The Venom GT is a hypercar produced by an American tuning company Hennessy. The car is based on the Lotus Elise sports car and it was the car to beat the Bugatti Vrant Super Sport for the ultimate speed crown. Powered by a 7-liter, 427 cubic inch, V8 engine fed by twin precision turbochargers, the Venom GT registered produces 1,244 horsepower and 1,155 pounds to feet of torque. Weighing just 1,244 kilograms, 2,743 pounds, the rear-wheel drive Venom GT registered delivers a power-to-weight ratio of 1 horsepower per each kilogram of the vehicle curb weight. Thus, the Venom GT registered is not only the fastest accelerating hypercar in the world, it's also one of the most exclusive. The Venom GT registered costs $1.2 million US dollars plus shipping and not including options. The Adra are built upon the features and functionality of the Adra with new, unique solutions to enhance both performance and visual appearance even further. The Adra R has an upgraded fuel and engine management system that allows it to run between 95 octane and D100 biofuel, or any mix in between. The engine management system senses the fuel mixture and can adjust the engine's operation on the fly. The Adra RS fuel system has enough flow capacity to generate 1,140 horsepower and 1,200 newton meters of torque on E85 and D100 biofuel. As there is less energy content per given volume in these biofuels compared to normal petrol, the fuel system has to manage a flow that is similar to a 2,000 horsepower petrol engine which means that the Adra R's return less fuel system had the highest capacity of any car in production at the time. The Adra R also saw the debut of Koenigsegg's own ceramic piston brake system. Engine is 5 liter twin turbo V8 gas. Transmission is at 7 speed dual clutch. Drive train is rear wheel drive. Its price is $1,500,000.